generation came out, it went to crippin' to banging. You know. Right on, man. It, you know what? I, lo I love how you talk like that, man. We're gonna. I just, I just put it in. Um, it said your transaction details, and it put it has your name on there, a hundred dollars. And so, I'm gonna go check my email, and shit, there should be a code in there, and then you can just go, you can just go to whatever store. And I know all they're gonna do is ask you for like, you know, they might ask you for like an ID or something, right? Right, but yeah, man. I, yeah, I'm into all that, man. Like Bunchy Carter and um, you know, from Slauson. And, right. Yeah. Yeah, Bunchy Carter. Bunchy, Bunchy Carter. Well, these black Panthers and uh, Kitty Carter, his younger brother, they were on avenues and uh, Eddie Hathorn, which is his crime partner. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, like how the police uh, target people and kill them. Just it, like it's a, it's a kind of a routine thing they do now. Right, right, and they've been doing that for long. It's just, just the 1800s, you know, just slavery since we came over here from Africa. You think like you think it, it seems it seems like a lot of that um, that was going on like the 70s and 80s. It seems like kind of like the police were like stalking people, like like. Yeah. It seems like people were like targeted and stalked. Like you know how you know how when you're younger they pick you up and if you're hanging out with somebody else in LA they might just say you're a gang member just because you're associated with the person. Right, right. And then they put you in the computer and now they're now they're following you trying to get you caught up in something. Right, right, right. So if they can't put you in jail then they'll target you and try to like shoot you or something. Kill, kill, yeah. Right. And so, you know that. <laughs> You know, the, 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 how you survived it, though, man, you, you survived uh, a couple generations, two, three generations of that, and very few people, you know, would know anything about that. Like, I, you know, I think you're the, I, there's one other guy I heard of, he's from Muskegon, he he was at that Robert Ballou, remember Robert Ballou? The right, dude, right, which, which one was that? Uh, Jud, that? You know Judson Baycott? Yeah, I know Baycott, very well, he's one of my elders. Yeah, he grew up, you know, he's from Muskegon? You know he's originally from Muskegon. He moved to Los Angeles um, when he was younger. I didn't know that. Yeah, he's from he's he's actually from Michigan. He he was born here. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. I've yeah. been knowing him since the 60s, since the 1960s. Yeah. He first moved here. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he I saw him on the I saw him on YouTube with a guy named Graham I think or not Graham I don't know what his name is. a bigger dude kind of heavy set they both had went to jail together on that case. Big Bob, yeah, okay, Big Bob, yeah, yeah. and I then I then I saw you on the History Channel. That's why I saw. I remember you, you you had a suit on, man, and you were right. you were on the History Channel, and then I saw uh, Monster Cody on the History Channel, Seneca, and it seems like a lot of you guys are coming back to the forefront to discuss the things that happened that they wouldn't let you reveal before. Right, 
you know? Yeah. Okay. I, you know what, man? That, I said, you know what? You, it's funny because Inglewood used to be the, the crib area, but now when you go through there over like on Crenshaw and 104th, it's all turned into, it's all turned into uh, Bloods now. Right. But you know, I, I was watching a thing where it was like, um, I was watching a thing about Cointel Pro, man, and it was showing how back in like the seventies and in the sixties and stuff, like they had like undercover FBI agents like burning down black movie theaters and stuff, and basically like any any black owned business, um, the Cointel Pro, the FBI, they would pretty much target it and try to destroy it, you know, and and it seems like there was like a conspiracy. I mean, if you weren't doing wrong, the it, the people who were going to be successful. They would basically try to take what they had, right, right, and you know, in the black community, and so. But. Yeah, man, I'm I'm out here right now. It said, the transaction is processing. Um, I'm just waiting for it, man. They're gonna give me a phone number. I mean, they're gonna give me a number. And that's all you're gonna. That's all you're gonna need at a store. And I use the name, you know. I put your name on there, and it's a hundred dollars. And so it's for today, Friday, July. And so it said, "Dear Jamil Rawls, we've received transaction request and are working on it. You will receive a confirmation email once the transaction is successfully processed. If you sent a cash pickup money transfer, please note that it is not ready for pickup yet. You can track the." status of your transaction online with authorization number. So right now what they're doing is they're processing it. It should take it's any second, man. It's going to tell me. Okay. It's going to tell me. It's, it's, right. So. 
you know, but man, I, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to be able to contact you though, man. And hopefully, hopefully we, you know, we can do something in the future too, because you're one of those, you, you just being around, man, is, is a blessing, you know, is a blessing because there's not too many people like you who have the history and the knowledge that you have, you know? Yeah, yeah, and, and and LA's changed, and LA's changed a lot, man. Like you, you're in the Gardena area, right? No, I mean, I mean, I'm I'm on the west side. I'm where really, really all happened at. Okay. Oh, over in South Central. South Central. South Central. I mean, see, in, in 1972, in 1972, we started the Crip multiplication at Turpaw, and we named Crip Turps, Nigger and a Brawl. That's why it's so spread the way it is now. So. Ray Washington put me in charge of the West Side in 1972. Not Stanley took the wings. He okay. was against us. He was against the group of patients that took off with us expanding new day Crips. Set the church near the ball because he wanted to be the undisputed leader and bounder like Ray Washington of the Crips. Uh-huh. And he had to, he went into exile into Compton. And we continued on with the group of patients in the church ball. Starting in the hundreds, eighties, sixties, thirties, Long Beach, and just and then it then it, it, it kicked off with Eastside, Compton, and it went all over the world. And that's under Ray Washington's legacy. Chitty Chick Bang Bang, Crystal Valley, Multiply, Crystal Died. <laughs> hey, ain't that where Boo Hill came from? You said when Tookie went to Compton, is that where did he start? Yeah. Yeah, that that was a um, that was a big ordeal, man. I, I saw that guy. You know, you ever heard of Jamil Barnes? He was on. The, I saw him on there. He was talking about he wanted Tookie to die, man. That kind of tripped me out. I had heard, you know what? I read about that um, that Crip Constitution. I heard it was it was it started. There was one. I heard one thing saying it was started in jail. That's what. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was, well, what happened was Raymond Washington. Raymond Washington. Well, Raymond Washington went to jail in '72 for murder that he was involved in, and he didn't do because he wasn't a killer. He was a fighter. And and um, he made he, he wrote the Constitution and sent it down to the Nimbu. Right, right on, man. Yeah, that that's you know what Raymond Washington. Um, they wrote a book about him. Some cop. Uh, it was a it was a white dude. 
He wrote a book about Raymond. Wa yeah, yeah, and I was I was listening. Yeah, and I was. Do you think he really knows? Uh, you think he's right, right on? I mean, he probably. All he can do is to know what information he knows and, and about like everybody else. They basically gotten from us and the, the reports and all that. Right, right. Hey, man, they just sent me another email saying, um, saying it's been processed. Let me, let me, let me call this number and, okay, and get the pit that. I'm, okay, I'm gonna call you right back in, in one minute, man. Okay, bye, bye. All right. For now, compared to what it was, how are the gangs in LA different now compared to what they were in the '80s and the '90s? Like, you, it seems like some more positive stuff is starting to come out of it like you're talking about uh, helping people you know with the um the racial stuff it sounds like there's m much better leadership going on now or much better you know Right. Where are you? Yes. So, you know, and now we're in the process of trying to get schools and, and uh and try to you know, more opportunities for them to get funds for them and and try to guide them in, in the right way. Hey. You know, so we can be responsible, you know we can be responsible, you know, uh, as an entity because you know, we we we're just uh, uh call it religion, uh call it call it uh I believe I I know how tricky I know how tricky the establishment is, man. I definitely believe it. Uh, hey, hey, uh, have you ever heard, hey man, have you ever heard of gang stalking? Gang stalking? Yeah, it's like if they consider you like a political agitator or they consider you doing something wrong, 
they'll they got people out there that they pay to follow you everywhere. Not like real, not real gang members, but like they just call it gang stalking. Yeah, yeah, well, that's what that's what yeah, that's, yeah, that's 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 what we dealing with. That's why they brought the beers here. The keeping each other going. Uh, we had a community, uh, uh, community, uh, uh, a meeting with the police, the the the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the chief, the police, and all that. And from the work that we was doing, like in 2000, in, in June of 2000, we were coming together on the west side and we started the rich, we started the rich rolling, rich, rich, rich rolling card. And that was from like, from the hundreds all the way down to, to Hollywood, from South, South Central all the way down to Hollywood. And there was the neighborhoods that, that, that expanded to the east side and they expanded all over the world. Right, right. Take that power away from them because if they can, you know, they come in, they're the ones who put the dope in there, like the DA and stuff. They. Yeah, don't bet the gun. It's a conspiracy yeah. of genocide. It, it is. Tactics, like the Jim Crow tactic and all those different tactics they use with the conspiracy of genocide. Really? It's another one of their tactics. You remember, you remember the, um, the dude, the reporter? He was a white dude named Gary Webb, and he had broke the Iran Contra scandal story with. Talking about Rick Ross and, right. and all that back in right. like back in the late eighties, early nineties, and right. yeah, he ended up committing suicide, or they say he did, you know. But he, I remember he, right. yeah, but he broke the story and he was proving how they were take they had an orchestrate to where they were taking the dope and guns and flying it right into South Central. Right, right, yeah, right, and right, and and you know, man, I I think it's get I think it's gonna get better though, man, because. You know what? The crime, it, it's not, a, you know, the crime doesn't seem like it's as bad as it used to be. Like, it seems like back in the 80s and the late 70s and in the early 90s, it was a lot worse. It seems like it's calmed down a lot and the establishment's getting frustrated because they don't know what to do. Right, well, it wasn't so many then because, you know, you only had groups and their rivals. And, and, I mean, basically, you know, we were rivaling with, 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 with uh, local, local gangs outside of the original communities. You know, like the Bells and Changay, the Brims, you know, now it's just, it's just nationwide now. You know, right. and now instead of, instead, of, instead of protecting your community, it's trying to get, it's, it's now the thing is it's trying to get a reputation. You know, because back then, like now, they initiate you in, but when we start off, we were all, we were all uh, street fighters. We were all rep- were street fighters. You know, that came together from the east side to the west side to Compton. You know, now it's a whole different story. Everybody feels they have a reputation. What's that in the food that did? You know, that I came, that I came up with. You know, right. All, all the food that did, you know. So hey. that means that, that is not the purpose of all of this. You know, you know what, man? I, I learned a lot. I learned a lot from you guys because I, I did a lot of research. Um, on conspiracies and stuff, right, over the years, like CIA type stuff, and at one point I had gotten, at one point I had got into it with the, sort of like the, the, the fraternal orders and secret societies, and they put me on a list to have me followed everywhere to like intimidate me, and you know what I did, man? I said, you know what, I'm going to do, I'm going to do what the uh, gangs in LA do, I'm going to bang on them, so I, I started walking up to them, telling them my name, telling them I do interviews, telling them everything about me, and they got scared and started leaving me alone. Yeah, everywhere I go, they, they. Yeah, I started, I started banging on them. I started telling them, I, <laughs> I was banging on the feds. Yes. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I realized sometimes, I realized a lot of times they're more afraid of you than you are of them. I'm sure. I'm sure. I mean, you know, look, 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 look,
Yeah, it's almost like the, it's kind. Of, it's basically the same thing as what the Ku Klux Klan was doing in Mississippi back in the '30s or whatever. It's basically the same stuff. They all together. They are still together. They're yep. still, you know, still together. They, everything is still together. They are, I call them. They are the. They, they are the. 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 The, the, um, the, the devils. Yep. Know, they, they, they are the devils. Because all of them folks are not bad. We had Quakers. We all. We got Jews. We got, for example, you know, all of them folks are not bad. You know, it's the it's Satan, satanic people. Yeah, they, wor- know, they worship the devil and all that stuff. Yes. It's, 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 not, it's not the people. It's not the people when you, when you speak about the races, you know. Right. And they, and I know, I know back in that, you know, you couldn't even go to certain areas. Like if you crossed a certain intersection, you know, they'd pick you up and take you back home or pick you up and take you to jail or the, or the youth authority or whatever. It's your crew. It's your crew. Yeah. It's your crew. Yeah. And all that. Mm-hmm. What, hey man, what do you think about, um, what do you think about the OJ thing? You, you think like, cause I have a lot of research I did. I think it's highly, a lot of people try to say he did. I think it's highly possible that that was like a setup. Yeah, well, with the way that, uh, the way that they, they did that, you know. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that, you know, he was in love with her and this, that. I mean, it, 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 it would seem almost common sense for a man to react, but not that way, you know. I mean, he could he had enough money to have it done, you know. That means it's, it's, but it, it's, as far as him doing it, they couldn't prove that, so, you know. And uh, that's what we had uh, the great leader for. You know, the great leaders are great leaders, you know. And they killed him. Right. Right. He, he did it. Now he died young. Yup. Yeah, he died young. Yeah, Johnny Cochran, he had like a... Uh, oh. Cochran, he, yeah, he say so. When, when, when Tupac got a hold of uh, Illuminati and, 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 and exposed Illuminati, mm-hmm. he had them. Yeah, they killed. Then they killed Pop. They killed him too. With Malcolm X. Yeah. What happened to him? They killed. They killed him. <laughs> right. They killed him too. Killed him too. Well, all of them. Right. You know. So that's what it's all about. Hey, hey, um. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Hey, man, were you you were uh were you around when um the People's Temple was around? The remember the People's Temple with Jim Jones? Yeah, I was I was young to me, yeah. You, I was that I was a teenager. Did you remember anybody did you ever meet anybody or know anybody who was affiliated, like who had went to Jonestown yeah, or we had, we had, yeah, 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 but not not um as as two family and friends. Right. That's the research I did that's the, that's the research I did, man, that got me in trouble. I proved that that was like an experiment to be able to try to mind because they were trying to figure out a way to uh, mind control black people, and and you know they had a lot of black people in Jonestown, right? And so and so I think that was some sort of that was that had been some sort of experiment, you know? Yeah, and and you know at the same time it's population control, you know? Yep. Because we we, as, we we are the majority, and the powers that be are the minority. Yep. You know, so it's all about power control. Uh, it's all about it's all about population control. You know. Yeah, yeah, man, and, and you know, right now, see, they want it, they want it to have it to where the Mexicans and, and blacks would just kill each other off, but that's starting to go away because a lot of the Mexican people are start they don't really want to go for it anymore. No, 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 no. I, I think that uh, when when this guy come here talk about he's gonna make a war and all that old kind of shit. Right. Just think, man. We've been here. We've been in the community, and with, with Spanish folks from the beginning, we we got our name from Spain, Negro, Negro. We were indigenous slaves in Spain. Right. You know, I mean, that's. I mean, we were slaves. We were, we, 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 for two years. We were for two years in got our citizenship, and and, and and we got the name that they call Negro. We got Negroes. You know, so. We 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 all in the same class, you know. Asians and Spanish, all of us, we all in the same class. So, uh, when I was in the period in 1976, I was 19 years old. And what the what the administration would do, they would they would try to uh, uh, sit the uh, Spanish Spanish on us. 
Yeah. You know, yep. Give them, give them guys and give them, give them everything they could give them to start stuff with us. You know. The divide and conquer. Huh? Kind of like a divide and conquer. Yes, yes, yes. And that's what they that's and that's what they're doing to us. You know, so that's why we are stepping up, you know, with our good constitution and all that. And what it stands for and what it means. You know. And, you, and, and religiously so. You remember those three guys? I forget their name, man. It was back in it was back in your era in the seventies. And they had like broke out of the prison or tried to, and they, it, it, like, in the middle of the trial. Yeah, Jackson's. Yeah, it, wasn't that Solidad yeah. or something? Or? Solidad. He, 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 he uh, George Jackson. Yeah. He came from Pasadena, California. He had a, um, he had a, 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 a uh, he had a, a, a case. He was convicted for GTA for stealing a car. He went to uh, Tracy, which was the gladiator school, Youth Authority. And uh, for, I think for one to life was a sentence. And he ended up doing a life sentence because he retaliated against the administration, the police administration. You know, and, and started the vanguards. And then that's when he started the BGM. Right. And Andrew Davis and everybody got involved in that. His brother and all of them, they broke into the, in the court and, and, and kidnapped the police and all that. And put them in jail You know, yeah, I, I, was, I was, that was in 1973. Yeah. Oh man, that's deep, man. Hey, hey, man, hey, man. I, I've taken up too much of your time. I mean, you know, we we've gone thirty minutes already, and you know, I look forward to you, uh, you know, picking up your cheddar. You know, call call me back, man. When, just call me back. Just let me know, man. Everything went through correctly. They gave me the reference number. All you gotta do is go to the MoneyGram. And I hope to be able to do this again, and, you know, throughout the future. Maybe once a month we can do it. You know, a hundred dollars is nothing. A hundred dollars is nothing to speak to a, a legend like yourself. And so, yeah, yeah, man. So you know, my name. You know, my name is Jamil Rawls, and you know, yeah, I, I got your name. I got your name, and you know, and and and, and man, we can do more and more together. Uh, because right now, like I said, we we just signed the contract. Uh, Yeah. So, so maybe we can stay in contact and then I can be the, uh, with, the, with the progress that's taking, you know, time to time. Yeah, sure. Right on, right on, man. And, you know, this is my phone number. So, you know, whenever, you know, whenever something comes up, you know, you know, just hit me up and, you know, I'll look forward once a month, man. I'll, we'll just, we'll just keep, we'll, okay. just, we'll just keep the ball rolling. Okay. I, I'll, 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 I'll keep you instructed. I'll definitely keep you instructed as we go along. Okay, man. And, uh, and, uh, if, 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 you know, like, I, I go back to the beginning. I guess you know that. So, you know, like those guys, I'm, I'm not really into you because, uh, you know, I, I, I'm the wrong follower. And, you know, a good follower because you make, you make a, 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 a strong leader. Right. So that's my circumstances. So, you know, I, I was on the way to Washington. And, and, and uh, when, when, when the eight trillion is pushed, West Side. to me because they were pushing they always identify themselves extremely close with with Crip and then they yeah.
So what, what happened, that they was, they, 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 they claimed to be the most heavy grip gang in the world. You know, so what, what happened, and they, and they also were accused of killing Raymond, you know. And so that's one of the reasons why, one of the reasons why as generations, you know, uh, uh, separated themselves, that they have not gone over Crips no more. You know, because they've always been independent. They've never been in the West Side. You have West Side Hoover Crips, and they started, they took it off. They, they, they turned it into Hoover Criminals. Right. You know, so, you know, we, we were, if you ever see, if you ever go to Facebook, you always see the out of H, you always H out. Yeah. You know, and that's probably one of the reasons, uh, you know, um, you know, because we quit or die, you know. We crippled down. We under the legs. We we crippled down. You know, so so you know they changed that. Up. And most of the original rumors, most of the original rumors, and some of the uh, some of the advisors, you know, the original East Side Crips under in Washington, was as as generation separated themselves, you know, and after the devil in Washington, and after the uh, the rumors were accused of his death. Yeah, man, that that's deep, man. It, I mean, the thing, you know, so much time has gone by and a lot of things have happened. And, you know, people like the, the establishment, the media and stuff, they sweep a lot of stuff under the rug. They really don't want people knowing about the real details. They just want people to see the blood, the blood, you know. And, well, you know, I'm going to tell you something, Jamil. They already attacked me once. You know, whenever you wake up, step up, you know, they're going to attack you. It's like when, whenever you get close to the God, Satan gets mad. So, you know, I already did that, but it's a sacrifice. My forefathers sacrificed for us, either this stage or for us. Right. Here. So, you know, hey, well, I'm no better than them. You know. Yeah, I know. I'm better than them at all. I. I you know, they, I know all about it, man. They, they said, I did a bunch of interviews about, like, Jonestown and all that stuff, and I was exposing the government conspiracies. You know, they set me up to kill me, man, at, at the motel, yeah. at the Motel 6 on Hollywood, of Holly, on Hollywood and Whitley, they set me up to kill me at the motel, man, and I slipped out by, I slipped out by miracle, man, and then after oh, that, God, 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 God. I believe in God. yeah, I believe in God, yeah, it was God, it was a miracle, it was a, it, it was the, it, it was godly, it was the godly work of God that got me out of there, man, and, 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 uh, yeah, man, because I could, feel, I, I knew, I knew I was going to die, man, because I could feel the energy, it was a heavy energy, you know, and I, Right. You know, that's when we come up listen, but you listen. Right. You know, yes. Yeah, and and you know I got out of it, man. So I know I know how it is, man. I mean, the the minute you the minute you try to do something positive and try to do something good, man, the the, the, the devil works through other people to try to pull you back down, you know. So I know I know right. a little I know a little bit about it, man. Yeah, that's in order. That that is in order. That's why they come up with all these all these all, 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 with, with the uh, conspiracy of genocide. You know, the Jim Kolak, all these different, uh, all these different plots. Yeah. You know, to, to, like you said, separate and divide and conquer. You know, Satan comes kill, kill, and destroy. And he, in the process, he comes to deceive everybody else. Yeah. You know, it, it's just like when we, 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 we know that we're from, we were Semitic Hebrews from, from what they call Africa, all the way from North, you know, all the way to the Promised Land, to the Canada, uh, the land of the black. Yeah. But they don't want us to know that though. They want to feed us with their interpretation of all the stuff that they took from us. You know, over in Egypt in a certain way took you know what really amazed me? Some of the movies like the like when they took over when they took the land in Greece, they took they took over the land of South Africa and different parts of Africa. You know, just Get the gold, get, get, get the this greed, you know, and how they turn the people against one another. And that's what they do in here. And they call that population control. They want to control everything. Every, all that satanic. Yep. It's all it's all an agenda. It's all an agenda from uh 
like, like I think it's all an agenda from like demonic entities. Yes, yes. Illuminati is one of them. Yep. Like, you, you sacrifice them. Even if you turn against your own family, they got. They, it's never. It's a. It's a. Hollywood uh, 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 movie came out a while back. Donald uh, Glover was a great black writer out of Detroit. I know you're familiar. Yeah, I've heard of him. Look at the news. I didn't see that. You know, they probably set all that up, and he probably, you know, they probably, yeah. they, they might, they might even told him, man, they might even told him, look, you're not going to go to jail. We know you didn't do it, but just go ahead with the trial because we want to bring down the image uh, of the black man in America. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It was, it was like an image thing. They want to bring down the image, and so they had him play the role. Right. 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 Hollywood does stuff like that. Yep. You know, if it's not controversial or anything like that, they don't want to do it. Yeah, like you, you see, man, you be wearing suits and Godfather hats. They don't want to see that. They want to see somebody with a four. No. They want to see somebody with a forty ounce with their pants hanging. You, uh, yeah. You know. Correct. They, they they want to see somebody. They want to see somebody that that's down and out that looks crazy. They don't want to see somebody. Correct. They don't want to see somebody trying to come up. No. Right.
Yeah. Yeah, they do. They they, they they put the they put you talk about like the Illuminati and the secret societies. They put all their children in they put all their children in, in schools, not public schools. They put them in private schools and schools that nobody knows about. Then they can tell them what they want to tell them. You know. Right. Yeah, me, me too, man. Jamil. Thanks, man. Well, you know, we'll, like I said, man, we'll, we'll keep the ball rolling. Like, you know, at least, at least once a month, man, we'll put something together. Okay. And okay. all right, man, you got my number, man. So just let me know. Okay. All right, bro. All right, man. Yeah.